Good morning, everybody. So we're back, back on another big one today. We got a, a pretty big garage, a three bay garage with a addition, and then uh, they've also put foundation under this under this house. So we're going under there too, pumping everything today. We got we got the pump guy that we really like. This guy does a really good job pumping. So Creed should be here any minute. It's about 6:30 in the morning. He's getting ready to go. We got radiant heat in this in this garage with the wire mesh on top of it. It's going to be about a five inch thick garage they actually use spray foam instead of just regular two inch rigid insulation under there so the spray foam is a little uneven under there kind of hard to figure the concrete on that stuff i definitely prefer the the two inch rigid insulation but we'll make it work these guys just like that spray foam they say it's a little less money to have it installed and it's a little quicker but we'll make it work let's go take a look harvey's here today We've got tia working today morning harvey Yeah, you see what that spray foam looks like on top of the dirt. Pretty uneven. A big, like a big bump right there. It's all, it's all up and down. Pretty wavy, so a little tough to figure concrete on this stuff. That ain't much of a difference, is it, Luke? We can, we can just go with it right there, and I'll just, just mag that. We'll just mag it up, and then we'll just kind of taper it. Be all right. Uh, I just wanted to check that. It was a blue mark there. Yeah, it looks good. Went from there to there, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can snap another one real quick from there to there. See, see what, how much difference it is. Yeah, crank up. Nope. I got my laser set to there. Yeah. I'll just wet pad one, two, three, and then I'll change the laser to here. Yeah, he wanted it flat. I probably dropped it like an eight. They cut this door out. It wasn't here before, so he should be. Hopefully, he's gonna tap con it in there. If not, well, I gotta go tell him about that too. Maybe, uh, maybe just get the tap con ready so when he shows up, he he just went to get a board. He said. All right, greet to you. Not bad. You want to give it a drink now? Yep. How many gallons do you want in? What's this? Ten bucks. Let me go look at it. I can give it at least 20. Is there any way you can shut them strobe lights off? They mess with my laser. Probably, uh, probably 10 more. This first, yeah, it's gonna be pretty dry. I can see it chunking up when he first got it right Yeah, well, I saw it doing it. I'm like, this ain't all like you want. I know it ain't. You said you had some fucking. Yeah, I gotta get two of them. Four feet out is flat, then it slopes. First truck down, second truck backing in. Not much room here for trucks, it's kind of tight going, so. The exchange in between is take, gonna take a few minutes. Looking for the Bofo, where'd the Bofo go?
Ja. See that wire sticking up right there. We'll have to deal with that when we come on the power trial. We'll have to either pound it down back in or cut it right out. That's what happens when the, the sub base is so uneven from that styrofoam, the stuff just floats up everywhere. The wire? Yeah. Maybe you just cut it out later. It's up to you, Darren. It's up to you. If you want to do it now, you can. I think you just cut it out later. It ain't gonna stay down. You take a look. Yep. Looks pretty close. Yep. Like it, Mikey? Let's try it. You're good, bud. I feel all right? You want just a little more? A little bit. Five four, Mikey. Yeah. I think one more. Hey, Avi, I'm passionate. Yeah, we might have to move it a couple of times. I think you got it right there. Yeah. Ooh, that looks dry. Yep. That ain't looking good. Did he, he added five more, right? He did. So there's 30 yards. We got four yards on the last truck. I think that's gonna take about two or three. So 
Gonna have plenty. Gonna have plenty. Looking good. Yeah, everything's done. Basement floor, garage floor, 